All right, everyone, there was a very cringy and funny article the other day from Vice. Okay, that's redundant. It's a Vice article uh, about, I guess there was this, you know, person of color, which is kind of a bigoted term when you really think about what it really means, but that's the one that the woke people use now. It's, it's hilarious. But uh, who left, I guess, the climate movement, insofar as that bullshit exists, because it's too white. Uh, I guess the idea is, you know, Greta Thunberg is white, and these activists, a lot of them, they're, you know, they're white trust funders from, like, college towns and stuff. That is true. Uh, that's where that tends to promulgate. And so they decided to leave the movement. I'm thinking to myself how fucking wacky this is. First and foremost, uh, yes, the climate movement, again, so-called, is overwhelmingly white. That's because the sort of campaigns to raise so-called awareness of the issue uh, target the college towns. They, they target the sort of people who dwell on fear. And so it simply makes sense to do that. Um, they, they don't so much go into the middle of Flint and, and start their activistic meetings. Uh, they go to places where they can get a, a college campus to host them and stuff like that. And a lot of them are, are lily white college towns or the suburb, suburban communities that tend to be disproportionately white and Asian. This is what they do. It's, it's about simple demographics of targeting. However, it, it, here's, here's what I'm not understanding. If you believe that the world is ending, like, like Greta thinks or something, if you believe that within the next 10 years the surface of this planet is going to be Tatooine or flooded and it's going to be, you know, Aqua World or something, if you believe that it's really going to be that catastrophic, like I would be almost underwater right now and this community would look, begin to look a little bit like Venice, I suppose, don't you think that it's time to get past the wokeness bullshit of caring about identity wedge issue sort of politics? Apparently not. Apparently that's definitely the ultimate goal. I guess the idea is that they need to have affirmative action for climate change leadership activism or something. And it's like the people who show up to lead, who have the acumen to do so, who have the speaking skills mainly because it's all about money for the most part, are going to be the ones leading things. If you've ever experienced college bureaucracy, let, let me tell you, for, for those of you, and most of you probably have been to college or, or trade school or whatever anyway, so I'm speaking to the choir. If you've gone into the more academic and philosophical side of the college situation, isn't it a lot of empty buzz terms, a lot of feel-good, hippy-trippy, goddamn nonsense? It's like when I was at UVM. They've got all of their, their soy milk and their sustainable napkin bullshit, and here's our, our special of the day is fried tofu and the vegan options and stuff, but it's catered by Sodexo. It's catered by a group that also caters prisons. Literally, for-profit prison industry is, is tied to the college food industry. The workers get underpaid. They go on strike all the time. The janitors get underpaid. The food workers, a lot of them are migrant labor. You have a situation where a bunch of lily white trust funder West Coast kids come in to Vermont, go to UVM, they think they're saving the world or something, and, and they have their uh, uh, Save the Boobies t-shirts and their pink hats and stuff like that, and yet they're eating prison slop that's catered to them by underpaid migrant workers on a campus that they, they ramble about how renewable it is, but it's still made of Chinese components that were in part made by sweatshops, and they, th and they think that this is activism. This is the empty hollowness of college activism, and really of, of gated community, often overwhelmingly white activism. I'm not surprised, therefore, that a person would look askance to this and say, this is bullshit. But you're, that is, you're seeing the wrong bullshit. You're seeing the demographic side of that bullshit. But the reason why the demographic side is lopsided is because those are the communities with the money. Those suburban and small town college communities have, have academically speaking, and in the political activistic sense, disproportionately have wealth. And no, I'm not talking about white, white privilege. This is, is all governed by the one percenters, not by the average white person. They have disproportionately in their communities more money. So if, you're, if your entire thing, if your activism is actually just activism so-called, like the UVM activism I witnessed, which is still, hey, we've got the vegan option with our prison food. We've, uh, we've we pulled together $10 to give the janitor that's being underpaid. Yeah, fight the power, man. Karl Marx forever. It's all bullshit. And so if you want to take advantage of people whose heads are full of bullshit propaganda and you want them to give you money, or you want them to sign petitions so you can get a corporation to pay you blood money, 
by getting Coca-Cola to, to pony up money to because it looks good for its brand. No, we're proud sponsors of the, the climate change activism front. Ha ha ha. Yes, we use renewable materials. Yes, we get your kids hooked on stuff that's rotting their teeth and fucking with their health and causing diabetes and we should probably just be goddamn banned from the face of the earth. But we paid blood money to this group of so-called activists who have, uh, up until now have been thriving by bilking soccer moms into the $10 a month to get their newsletter about the striped gibbon uh, and and that's how the system works it's bullshit it's not real activism it's a it's a shakedown it's Al Sharpton style activism but while I can understand that from the outside looking in at least demographically you can you can understand that it is bullshit it's hollow words and sloganeering and stupid shit like that and and a lot of fundraising Five to one fundraising to tree planting. You know, if you really care about the climate, go out your fucking self with your goddamn friends. You don't need a license to do this. Get a fucking pokey stick, clean up some trash, plant some fucking trees. Raise an organic garden in your backyard. Study how to do this. Do something with your hands. Do something that's positive. You don't need these morons to lead you. You don't need anyone to tell you how to plant a fucking tree. You can look it up on the internet and do it yourself. You don't need anyone to tell you you can pick up garbage. There's garbage all over the place here. Some of these people here, some of the college kids in this fucking goddamn community too, and there's a lot less of this hypocrisy here in the Netherlands than in the U.S., ironically enough, despite it being more of a socialistic country. There's trash everywhere. Why don't they go around and pick it up? No, they'd rather have Coca-Cola Corporation sponsor a cleanup because there's money involved. That's what it's all about. But to go full woke and to say it's a problem of whiteness, too many white people are caring about the climate. <laughs> Do you realize how fucking stupid you sound, dude? You sound like a total goddamn moron. If you really think, and I don't, I don't believe in this whatsoever. I think that natural feedback mechanisms involving snow reflecting sunlight typically are going to put us into a mini ice age before we turn into Tatooine. I don't believe in the anthropic climate change boogeyman as it is normally presented. Climate change is real. And man probably has something to do with parts of it. I don't know that we have the main responsibility, and I also don't know that it's a bad thing. Rather be in a warm period than an ice age. So the world, the world will go on. If we wipe ourselves out, that's okay. It doesn't really matter to me. I suppose that makes me bitter or black-pilled or nihilistic. I don't fucking give a damn. That being said, if you do believe that, if you believe it's the number one threat we face, worse than 10 nuclear wars, worse than bi more, worse than, than AIDS Ebola, worse than anything, worse than hobgoblin aliens coming down and using us as, as slaves or something to mine gold. If you really think that, then why would you choose that particular issue to get disgruntled about too many white people on? Because I hear that a lot. It's like, well, there are too many people of this race or this gender or this creed involved with some industry or some spot. Some, some town is too black. Some town is too Asian. What are you talking about, dude? Are you that dumb that you literally can't see individuality? It's like there's a screen of collectives in front of you. You've been warped by communism, dude. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, I mean, you look at the, the scammy, sleazy, shitty side of college so-called activism with its climate change BS and its feel-good bullshit about breast cancer awareness and saving the caiman and save the tree snails and, and you know, everything woke under the sun. And you ignore the sleaziness entirely and you simply focus on the fact that it's got a disproportionate number of white people involved in getting bilked by the sleazemeisters. It's not their fault that they've been warped. Their communities were disproportionately targeted at the academic level when they were in kindergarten and elementary school. Of, uh, they, they, by the time that the, they got into elementary school, they were seeing five signs a day on their wall that told them they're a bad person if they eat meat. You're a bad person because you used plastic. Corporations aren't bad. No, 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 no. They can be, but we can, we can partner with these, with these proud corporations like Crapple and Walmart and they'll help us save the world. No, they won't. No, they won't. Their heavy industry will just move to China and keep spewing out the same CO2 emissions and even more. And they'll keep enslaving people and feeding you prison slop at your fucking university. And I guess you'll think that this is activism. The even funnier is watching people who are part of that bullshit charade bristle at the mention of this woke individual leaving the movement. I'm glad they did. I hope everyone leaves these stupid movements. They all deserve to dwindle, to rot, 
to, to wither away and, and blow away like tumbleweeds. Not because of what they stand for, but because of the sleazy methodology with which they operate. Go plant a tree if you're so concerned. Tree will be there longer than you. Unless that corporation that's trying to donate money to your climate change cause comes along and decides that it would be a good spot for a parking lot. Then your tree is fucked. And that's really the truth about it, long and short. That's about all. Peace out.